and we're live. Hello everybody, uh, unlike the buffalo you've just been watching, we are live. I am astounded at Taylor's ability to see buffalo being killed live. Three in less than, what, two weeks or so? I think that's pretty impressive, really. Anyway, quite a harrowing experience, I imagine, for many of you, so I apologise if it was harrowing to any of you, but of course it wasn't nearly as harrowing, harrowing for you as it was for the buffalo, which is now no longer with us. Karula has moved very slightly. She came up here, she called one of the cubs who's gone off to have something to eat and we'll head towards there. I've just got to be very careful right now because we're in amongst a great warren, like I said, of artfark holes and we don't want to fall into one of them. And I just want to wait and see if the other one doesn't come across here. And I can just see the white belly of, I think it's Hosanna, still under the shade there. And he doesn't seem to be making any move to come towards the kill. So what we'll do is give him another one minute exactly. And then we'll head down towards the kill site and watch the youngster feeding. There we are. No, he's not going anywhere, is he, Brian? No. Very tired indeed. And of course it is very tiring being a leopard out here. Uh, no, no sugar to eat at all, and so you know you must metabolize fat, which is a, just takes a little bit more out of you. I think, and the H is almost completely silent. It's very slightly aspirated, which means you put a little bit of a at the end of the R. Now, if you're a Shangan or Shitsonga speaker, you'll be able to hear the difference between the two. I cannot hear the difference between, if you were to write that word with an R or without an R, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. But it is slightly aspirated, so it would be Kurula. Uh, kurhula. It's almost Kurhula, but a very soft sort of version of Kurhula. If that makes sense, James. So to reiterate, we have not renamed the leopard because everybody calls her Karula. But it is just to remind, in deference to the beautiful language that is Shitsonga, that that does not mean, um, it does not mean peaceful. And I know that's caused a little bit of consternation for some, but it really wasn't intended to in the slightest. It's just very important that we show due deference. Oh, look at the flies. Look at that. Thousands of those nasty sort of red-eyed and blue-bottled flies. Yuck. And that, I'm afraid, is the little fetus being eaten there. Well, that's the stomach that she's having a go at. Well, I suspect the rest of them will come up here fairly soon. Brian, I'm going to shift you slightly forward because I think you'll get a ever so slightly better view if I move a meter or so. What do you think? Yeah? There we go. I've said she, I think that's Shongile. Yeah, it is. Is it? There's the beauty spot there. I must confess it doesn't look very appetizing to me, does it? Not at all. Now, Karula, one of the reasons she's been so successful, of course, is because she so cleverly hides these kills. There's no way any vulture's going to see that. If a vulture doesn't see it until it starts to rot, there's no lion or hyena that will find it. She's bringing the fetus out here. This is just amazing stuff. We parked really well, what's that, Brian, about 8 metres and 10 metres maybe from her. Mm. That's 30 feet or so. Not a care in the world she has around us. And as the sun starts to set, we will try and get to the other side. And just to reiterate, uh, we have called us in many times and there are no, seem to be no game drive vehicles coming this way. And that's on account of the fact that there is a, uh, well, there's that astounding sighting going on at Buffalo, at least at the Juma Dam. Hello? 
Okay. Well, this is highly satisfying, isn't it, Brian? We've got a nice gentle wind blowing nicely. Jen B, what a very, very macabre joke you've made there, but it is Halloween, so we'll let it go. You say you don't suppose that we can count this C-section uh, of the Impala lamb as the first Impala lamb. Jen B, no, you may not. Absolutely not. <laughs> very, very macabre. Uh, okay, I'm going to move again. We've got some space around here, so I think... Oh, let's just see if she doesn't take it somewhere more visible. James, come in. I'm just going to answer Lex. Go, Lex. <coughs> Go ahead, Lex. Uh, James, how many vehicles are with you? I am alone. That's okay with you. It's absolutely fine. Thanks, James. Gorgeous stuff. Lex is going to come through. Uh, good afternoon, Mobile. Fishing. Any update? using the carnassial teeth, which of course most of you have heard about, those molars at the back of the jaw that help them to slice the meat off. We don't often see them using them, of course. And the tongue cleaning off bits that she doesn't want to eat. Hair. All right, I'm going to try and get a slightly better position at the sighting, everyone. While we do that, let's head back.